The Bex Ivey Tonight group called Freedom Works, which is somewhat aligned with the Tea Party, says it will demonstrate against Mitt Romney this coming weekend in New Hampshire. Seems Healthcare driving that protest. Joining us now from Salt Lake City, Matt Keeby, the president of Freedom Works. So, am I right about it? It's, it's health care that's really got you teed off against uh, Governor Romney? You know, Romney care really is the basis of a lot of Tea Party frustration with the governor and his inability to, to step away from what has proven to be a very bad government run model for health care. Costs are up both for individuals and the state government. And President Obama will rightly be able to argue that Romney care was the basis for what is now government run health care. Right, let, let, let me let me have you react to uh, I know that the Tea Party doesn't like Obamacare. I don't like it. Uh, Governor Romney doesn't like it. He's quoted as saying Massachusetts and what he did was OK for that state, but it's not OK for the union in Massachusetts right now. Ninety six percent of working people are insured. That's a pretty good record. Would you say have health insurance? Would you say? Yeah. OK, yeah, that's good. That's good. In Texas, 75 percent have insurance. So 25 percent are uninsured in Texas. All right. Only 4 percent uninsured in Massachusetts. And the problem with that is that if you're uninsured and you get in trouble, the taxpayer has to pick it up because you go into the ER, the emergency room, and they have to treat you. All right. So that's number one. That looks good for Romney. And, and you're an honest guy. And you would say that looks pretty good for Romney, right? Yep. That's one standard. OK, that's one standard. The second standard is expense. The national average for families paying for health care, like I do, is $13,375 a year. That's the national average. Massachusetts average, $14,268, only a $500 difference a year. So it seems to me that, Romney, that story is not as bad as we've heard. Am I wrong? Well, the cost of a family plan since Romney Care was implemented has gone up 10 percent. And the basis from which it started was higher than the national average. But you also have to look at how much the state government is spending, how much Medicaid has expanded, both the federal government's take and the state government's take. It's gone from one billion dollars to one point seven five billion dollars since Romney Care was implemented. And I think that's, that's not what, a model that's sustainable. Well, I don't know about that because the Massachusetts bond rating by Standard & Poor's was upgraded. But and now they have Deval Patrick, who's just a crazy spender. So I'm not defending Mitt Romney in the sense that I don't know enough about the Massachusetts model to tell anybody whether it's working or it isn't working. It's a complicated, as you pointed out, situation. But I don't know whether your protest against Romney is you see, arguments can be made on both sides. And you're basically saying because this guy did it in his state, he shouldn't be president. When he's saying, I don't want national health care, it doesn't work on a national level. Right. But our protest isn't just about Romney care. It's about his support of Wall Street bailouts. It's, it's his support for ethanol. It's his unwillingness to stand with Paul Ryan on real balanced budget measures, real entitlement reform. It's his opposition to fundamental tax reform. There's a record here. Where, where Governor Romney has in, very consistently opposed the principles that Tea Partiers espouse. So it's not just about health care. Okay. And look who's at, better than Romney, in, in your opinion? Just you, not your group or anything like that. Who's better than Romney? Well, I, I think there's a number of candidates that better reflect. OK, uh, so the there's, there's a bunch of ethos. people that you would prefer. There's a bunch. Now, you know, you're yeah. aware that Romney's now trying to get the Tea Party on his side. He's, he's doing a lot of stuff to try to get you guys to like him. Is there any shot that he could change your mind? Well, if, if he would uh, repudiate Obama, oh, oh, Romney care, if he would take a stand on the budget, if he would get some specifics about where he is on these issues, I think he has a chance. We believe that he can come around, but he hasn't been willing to do that. And just doing a press conference is not going to cut it. All right, Mr. Kibbe, thanks very much. We appreciate it.